Hey and welcome to my guide to the Weather Diaries guitar parts. Um, I'm going to start with Home is a Feeling and that's in the key of D. Now um, the intro is D, E, Z, E and the E is the same shape as this but just slid up to frets. So. the verse. The verse is regular shapes pretty much all the way through, apart from that E. It's just, I'll just play it through once. realizing these shapes are different to the normal shapes so I'm going to come up close and show you what they are so um, is a feeling it's D up to one. that's that's it's C but it's got this whole third and fourth finger thing going on that, I mean I don't really know how I played it on the record but I think it's something like this and then that's a G the same th two fingers F the same two fingers going on and an A with the same two fingers so it's like an A, a suspended um, and home is a feeling kind of has a, a simple arrangement like that um, every time really sometimes it, a couple of chords don't happen and other times they switch a little bit because really because when I wrote it um, that's the very first way I played it and I thought I was playing it the same every time but it kept changing and then I just thought I'll keep it like that. Um, so sometimes it goes to the A suspended, sometimes it goes to a D, sometimes the verse carries on for two more lines, but I just kept all those original changes from the demo. Um, just because, I don't know why really. I just did, all right? Um, so that's home is a feeling. I mean, there's not much more to it. It's very floaty on the record. It's all up here. Oh, actually, that's how I play it. I think that's on the record. So that's a D. It's <laughs> an open D shape up there at the top. Um, I don't know what I did. That's the truth. I don't know, but. Maybe this helps if you <laughs> want to know how to play it at a folk club. Um, all right, now what should we do next? So Cali is another one that's good. Um, Cali is in C and it's got a detuned B string. So the B string is tuned down to an A. And I've had this riff for literally 20, 30 years. It's like an original ride riff. I had this four track demo that was um, that was uh, the, this riff on one track and then the other track was no 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 so Sort of like a two part thing. It's kind of similar to how I did with a In a Different Place on the Nowhere album. Same era as that, really. That was In a Different Place, was um, on that I had the four track, and one of the, one of the parts was. Just all the time, and the other one was going. For that. I've put it out of tune now. Anyway, 
so that's that's Callie's sort of um, original thing and you can also again you can do a different way you can play it as a, a full bar type chord but all open at the back so or front or whatever that the bottom open at the bottom but that's when it gets tricky up there so that's why I do it this one what I really like is the way the D chord sounds so I always try and play the D shape there anyway, even if everything else is. Sounds really different on acoustic because um, it's such an electric song, and then that bit it's got the big fuzz sound on it, so I didn't even recognize that. Playing it now, I'm not even like showing you anything. Um, but that is basically it anyway. Um, C A F D C A F D E, and then this added, which is sort of like a cool your boots style extra chord that makes a, makes the thing go round in a funny way. Um, the chord sequence has one extra chord every other time, so kind of tricks you kind of every time, in theory. Now um, I'm going to show you White Sands, which is up here on the 10th fret. So what you do on White Sands is um, really just play like an E minor shape. And that's the idea really, so it's like a, in the key of D minor, the saddest of all keys. Um, now what I did originally on this was kind of just go through an a E minor and then the, the one finger I had on the on the guitar moved the note down one every time I play the pattern. So I'll just demonstrate because it sounds really really impressive but really it's not very difficult. So um, this is like a good party trick for the shoegazing party animal. It's also got a bit of a stereo vibe on it. Um, yeah. And that really is that. Discord on, on record, but when I play it live, I stick an extra finger in some of the chords. So I stick, I stick um, an extra first um, finger on that note there. And then the same with that one. So I, when it gets to the what would be. Um, I don't even know what note that is, but just do that basically. That's kind of it, and then you get back to the beginning again. So on the on the, um, on the record, I think it starts off halfway through in this, or towards the end of the pattern in this bit. one which starts from the original Oops. 
And then I think on the record it goes back to the beginning then. So you don't get the final four bits. You can probably work it out from doing it. You might have to do it yourself. Um, because I'm, I, I, I kind of get a bit forgetful about how things are after they're finished. And then if I'm in a um, performance situation, I just do it without really knowing what I'm doing. Um, once I've learned it, it just kind of goes in and I forget what, how to explain it. Okay, that's kind of it really. I um, hope you enjoyed getting a little bit of a taste of what the guitar parts are. Um, even though I didn't really explain anything, but you know, this is my first try, so give me a break. Peace out. <laughs>